Welcome, Welcome back. back. Well, it was another warm one across the area today. In spite of the clouds, we got up to 77 degrees, 78 Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and tomorrow upper 70s once again. But we do have a change on the way, cool front on the way. Let's check out the temperatures, though, across the U.S. Put this in motion uh, during the course of the afternoon and notice the warmth across Texas. We'll draw your attention there where temperatures were reaching the upper 90s from Del Rio down to Laredo, Colleen, Texas, uh, Fort Hood catching 100 degrees today. That's the earliest 100 degree reading we've had so far in the U.S. this year. And then to the north, look at these readings all the way up to Des Moines was the same temperature as Lafayette. Lincoln, Nebraska was warmer than Lafayette, but there is colder air moving southward. It's going to be awfully modified by the time it gets here, but notice there's some pretty cold air as we get into Canada, minus 20 degrees and colder than that. And that's going to be working on some moisture that's up in that part of the world. And uh, that that's where we're going to see uh, our next weather system. But the polar jet's been bottled up across Canada. The subtropical jet for us is going to get more active and get overhead and across the western, northwestern Gulf of Mexico through Florida. That means a more unsettled and wetter pattern as we move forward later this week. You can see the winter storm warnings and winter weather advisories as that cold air begins to sag southward following an area of low pressure over here uh, toward uh, southwest of uh, Minnesota. Meanwhile, for us, we're just seeing cloud cover, some mid and high level clouds, and then Gulf of Mexico clouds coming in. And with that, you could see some drizzle or mist at any time overnight tonight through tomorrow, and then maybe portion of the day tomorrow as well, but not enough to wet the ground. So it's just going to be a nuisance. We do see a few scattered showers uh, along the mid and uh, toward the upper Texas coast, and we might see a few showers with our front, but we're going to have to wait until Wednesday morning before we see any shower activity. So mostly cloudy and mild overnight tonight. Temperatures in the uh, upper 60s to near 70, upper 70s to near 80. The graph model a little bit more optimistic on breaking up some of that cloud cover with intervals of sunshine tomorrow afternoon. If that's the case, we'll probably hit 80 degrees. We'll see. Then for tomorrow night, another mild one. Temperatures holding near 70. And here comes the front. That may generate a few showers as we head into Wednesday morning. But by Wednesday evening, temperatures heading down into the 40s and 50s. Then it's a little unsettled with rain chances Friday and then some Saturday in some Sunday, so we'll have to watch the pattern. A little unsettled forecast thereafter. Upper 60s near 70 overnight tonight. Tomorrow, upper 70s to near 80 degrees. And look out for that wind. It's going to be another gusty day, and the winds will be stronger. Today was gusting 20 to 25. Tomorrow will be gusting up to about 30, maybe 35, so keep that in mind. So overnight tonight, a breezy one for sure. 66 to the low with some gulf mist out there. Uh, we'll go with that south wind continuing at about 8 to 12, so a breeze overnight tonight tonight and then tomorrow a windy day 78 the high few intervals of afternoon sunshine and I'm, I'm not as optimistic about sun in the afternoon as I was earlier today 30 percent just a few showers early Wednesday meteorological spring gets here and we're going to see our temperatures warm back up after a chilly Thursday jacket sweaters Thursday but we'll be back to short sleeve and uh, jeans or whatever you want to wear as we head into the weekend and keep that rain gear handy that's it for weather for now we'll have more coming up right after the break